Hi guys, I'm Otto from Tron.com and today I'll show you how to reset an Ilmo WT motor. There's a lot involved in that, so let's dive in. The Ilmo WT is a special motor because it sets the end limits by detecting friction. So setting your own endpoints is not possible. If the motor got stuck somewhere and now has the wrong endpoints, you have to reset the motor. And you have to reset the endpoints because there are no adjustment pins on the motor that you can use to manually set the end positions. Now there are two ways to reset the Elmo with a switch and with the adjustment tool. We're going to look at the version with the tool. And why? That's because the reset with the switch is only possible if you can press the up and down button simultaneously. Unfortunately, a switch with two buttons is a version that almost nobody has. Most people have this one, rotary switch. And there you have no option to press two buttons at the same time. So as you can do the reset with the switch normally, we have to use Somfy's setting tool, which we have here. It works fine as you'll see. Um, it's very easy, but it has to be purchased separately. You can order it on the side and I'll put the link in the comments and the text below the video. But unfortunately, there is an extra cost of 61.95 euro. So it's not going to be a cheap reset. As you can see, the tool is quite handy. And the first thing I'm going to do is connect the cables from the motor to the setting tool. It's very easy, you just color match them. So green goes into green, blue goes into blue, brown goes into the red button, or the red connector, and black goes into black. So this is the sequence that you have. So now the motor is connected and what I'm gonna do is plug in the power to the tool. And there you have it, it's now connected and powered up. As you can see, we have the light here. So what I'm going to use is a special button, which is this one, and that's basically the up and down button at the same time. So you don't have to press two separate buttons, it's just this one. I'm going to press and hold it until the motor makes two movements. So that's the first one. And now we'll get a second movement. And there it is. And now the motor's been reset. If you have the motor still built into your roller shutter, of course, you'll see a movement of the roller shutter itself, movement of the slats up and down instead of just the motor head moving. So that's it. The reset procedure with the setting tool, as you can see, very straightforward. If it doesn't work for you or if you have any other questions, you can send an email to info at Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.